Well, I think the, the major things to take home from my lecture today uh, include uh, secondary uh, hypertension uh, being caused by uh, hyperaldosteronism. It really is being recognized that this is much more common uh, than previously thought, and part of my talk is to increase the awareness of that particular uh, entity in terms of uh, being looked for in the general internal medicine community. Basically, patients that come in with hyperaldosteronism are going to be your patients that are uh, resistant to blood pressure control. They usually will be on more than uh, two medications. Uh, their blood pressures won't be con uh, well controlled with this. And if you have a patient that has that particular condition, it should raise your suspicions for measuring serum aldosterone and measuring plasma renin activity uh, in order to begin the evaluation for that. Um, Secondary or primary hyperaldosteronism now probably accounts for anywhere from 5 to 30 percent of all the hypertension that we see in the office. And because of that, it's underdiagnosed and it's really something that lends itself very well to very simple therapies with mineralocorticoid antagonists such as spironolactone or aplerinone.